from the moment I wake up in the morning, it's game time. I wake up at 4.30 a.m., I have three young kids. So it's get them ready, get them off to school, and then it's hammer time. It's time to talk to the team, let them know everything that we gotta get done today, that we can start executing. And then from there, I make my way to the farm. When I get here, it's beautiful, I love being out here. I see opportunities to the left and to the right of me, all the way to the farm. We have nine locations out here, so I spend about an hour just riding around, making sure everything's right, making sure everyone has what they need to get the day started. We go sourcing plants. We also grow stuff here. We have 65 acres now, and it's just really nice to just go out there and see what you have to do to be able to make the plants greener, fuller, better, learn new tricks, implement them. We grow from crotons to palm trees to hedge material that's really popular in Miami. We grow more of what's popular because it is a business at the end of the day and we're trying to generate revenue. But it's so nice to just sit back, stop, and enjoy the moment. We're outside, we're in nature. I get to look at all of just the beautiful greenery, all the colors. My love for plants started at a young age because my father was in the industry. He got into the industry about 1974 as a hobby. And from there, when I was born, I was born into the industry. So I remember doing liners with my mother, which are baby plants, and starting and learning about how they would root. And I would always get excellent grades when it came to that part of school, the teacher talking about it. So from there, I just grew to love plants, work at the nursery, the summers, Saturdays, Sundays, it was always involved, we lived on the farm. At 15, I started doing landscapings with no name, no nothing. I remember my mother took me to my first landscape install. And then from there, I just, that started to fuel the passion of setting things in different ways. I knew how to grow a pretty plant what food they needed as fertilizers and soils and how much water. I had already learned all that from a young age. So I got to create my own landscapings. Then right around 20 years old, 19 years old, my father had lost everything he did because of the economy crash. And the only thing I knew was plants. So I wanted to do something in that as a career, and I saw what levels it can take you to and how powerful the industry really is. So I started a company called AIDS Ornamental Nursery. It was just five acres, rented, put $75,000 in that I had saved up, and from there we started. And from there I learned how to grow really a really beautiful plant and, and stand apart from the competitors at the time. Plants have taught me discipline like you wouldn't believe because to invest something into something that's alive, knowing that nature as far as hurricanes or cold temperatures can burn them, bugs, you know, things like that, uh, diseases, it takes discipline to be in this industry and that's what it taught me over time. I went through a period of my life that I was weighing 240 pounds. Today I weigh 175 and one of the ways I overcame that I looked at how disciplined I had became to be able to invest so much into plants and over time continue to just invest time and love and passion into them and I said why can't I do that in myself? So that's when I really changed. God was a big part of that in my life and I changed using that technique that I would use in my daily routine of growing inventory to be able to sell beautiful plants for beautiful landscapes and I put it on myself becoming a better human, becoming a better man. Plants for me are a never ending list of just opportunities and how to overcome something. You could take an ugly plant and make it beautiful again. It's just like us. I was not depressed, but in a state that I wasn't at 100%. And now I am fueled at 100% and plants have a big part in this. My partner and I were brainstorming on just the knowledge that I had acquired over the years on how to put it out in a way that can really benefit the industry, connecting people. So we created the first industry business podcast for the wholesale plant community and everything that intertwines of bringing professionals on. We created that to do that, but it's evolved over time into something just so much bigger. And we see just all the opportunities that the industry has where the industry lacks and we're meeting people that can create something to fulfill that void that the industry needs because it's an outdated industry. 
So we feel like the, the podcast is going to do something massive, and it already has. It's touched so many people already. We've heard their stories on just how impactful it's been for them and how they've been able to overcome so much. We use Instagram to promote our business, and I film stories. And I really get that one-on-one -on -one time just with each individual plant where I get to describe it, talk about it, show just all the neat different things that each plant does differently and describe it. And that has just fueled my passion even more. I see us creating something powerful, engaging more of the youth into the industry, even going as far as university style classes and just knowledge and being able to implement it in a way that makes sense for the next generations to come in and do something powerful. And as far as my kids, I want them to do something that they love. And maybe they love something that isn't as something that I loved. Maybe it's not growing plants, but maybe it's something that can accelerate the industry or accelerate what I did and continue my legacy. You know, I feel like I'm fulfilling my past generation's legacies in a big way. And it makes me feel like I'm doing something of purpose in life every day. When you think of Willy Rodriguez or Azor Romano or anything that we're doing, I want you to know that we do everything with faith because we believe in the message, we believe in the purpose behind it. It is fueled with passion, love, honesty. By having the faith of God behind me, I live a fearless life. That knowing that anything that happens to me, I'm gonna overcome it and I go at full throttle. Let's grow, let's go 100% in all the time.